This is Dr. Hayek and this video is about acids and bases. In today's video, we will be talking about nature of acids and bases, strength, and pH scale. Before I start this video, let me present to you the outline of this chapter where I will be talking about five different topics. So please refer to the corresponding video for the topic of interest. For acids and bases, there is two main definitions. One was given by Arenas, and another was given by Bronstein and Lowry. Now, Arenas said that any molecule or compound that generates or produces H plus ion in solution is considered as an acid, such as hydrochloric acid, hydrocyanic acid, and sulfuric acid. Now for bases, he said any molecule or a compound that produces hydroxide ions in solution, they are considered bases, such as sodium hydroxide, potassium hydroxide, and calcium hydroxide, and so on. However, Bronsted and Lowry, they said that any molecule that can donate an H+, is considered as an acid, which is not that different from the definition given by Arenas. Actually, it's the same. However, they said, for bases, it's any molecule or a compound that's capable of accepting an H plus ion. And this made the definition of bases more general, where we can consider now NH3, the ammonia, as a base, since it can accept an H plus to give an H4 plus, the ammonium. Let's consider the example of the dissociation of hydrochloric acid in water. Hydrochloric acid will donate its hydrogen to water, and HCl in this case is the acid, Cl- is the conjugate base of HCl. Now, water is a base since it accepted the H plus from HCl, and H3O plus is called hydronium. Now, the General reactions for acid is given as HA plus water, it's going to give H3O plus plus A minus. The equilibrium dissociation constant for acid is called Ka, and it's equal to the products of the concentration of the hydronium and concentration of A minus, the conjugate base, divided by the concentration of the acid. Now we omit the concentration of water from the expression of Ka because water is liquid and is not going to affect the equilibrium. Again, Ka is called the acid dissociation constant. Now hydronium, H3O plus, or H plus, they are used interchangeably. The general reaction for bases now, it's given as B plus water, it's going to give BH plus plus OH minus. And the uh, equilibrium constant for the reaction of the base with water is called KB, and that's equal to the product of the concentrations of BH plus and OH minus divided by the concentration of the base. Now, not all acids have the same strength. For example, strong acids are called strong because they are strong electrolyte and they completely dissociate in solution, as you can see in the following example, where HA will completely dissociate to give H plus and A minus. However, weak acids are weak electrolytes and they will partially dissociate, and therefore we say that they have incomplete dissociation. Now, how can we relate? the value of Ka to the strength of the acid. For example, Ka for strong acids is high because the concentration of H plus is high. Now the concentration of H plus is in the numerator, so when the numerator increases, the Ka will increase. Now strong acids usually they have a large Ka or high value of the Ka. Now for weak acids, however, the value of Ka is low because the concentration of H3O plus in the solution is low. Now, weak acids will not completely dissociate, so the major species in solution is the acid itself. Since the concentration of the acid is in the denominator of the Ka, now when the denominator increases, the value of the Ka will decrease. So strong acids have large value of Ka, and weak acids have small values of the Ka. Now we have two main types of acids. We have the monoprotic acid and the polyprotic acid. The monoprotic acid are 
molecules or compounds that they can give only one hydrogen in solution. However, for polyprotic acid, we can have diprotic, triprotic, etc. Now, diprotic, these are compounds that they can give two hydrogen ions in solution per molecule. And for triprotic, these are molecules that they can give three H plus in solution. An example to diprotic is carbonic acid, sulfuric acid. For triprotic, the best example is the phosphoric acid. Now, water is considered as an acid and a base at the same time. Now, a water molecule can transfer one of its hydrogen to another water molecule. The water molecule that gave or donate the H plus is considered as an acid. The other water molecule that accepted this H plus will be considered as a base. So water is an acid and a base at the same time. This is called autoionization of water. The equilibrium constant for the water dissociation is called Kw, and it's equal to the product of the concentrations of H3O plus and OH minus. It's equal to 1.0 times 10 to the power minus 14 at 25 degrees. This value is only at this temperature. When the temperature changes, this value will change. So Kw is called the water dissociation constant. Now, aqueous solutions could be classified as acidic, basic, or neutral. Aqueous solutions are classified acidic when the concentration of H plus is higher than the concentration of OH minus. They are neutral when both concentrations are equal, and basic when the concentration of OH minus is higher than the concentration of H plus. Now, because the concentration of H plus is typically quite small, the pH scale is used to represent solution acidity. Now, pH is given by the expression of pH is equal to minus log base of 10, the concentration of H plus. We have other log scales such as pOH, which is equal to minus log base of 10, concentration of OH minus, or pK, which is equal to minus log of K, where K here is the equilibrium constant. Now here's an example of different pHs of different solutions where we have acidic, neutral, and basic solutions. An important remark when we calculate the value of the pH of the solution, for a given H plus concentration, we can find the pH if the concentration of H plus is given with two significant figures the value of the pH should be written with two decimal places. I hope this video was helpful to you, so please like, share, and subscribe, and I will see you next time.